Shalom, my friends, from here in Israel. I want to give you an update on what's been happening here in the Holy Land this past week because, unfortunately, you probably didn't hear about it on your mainstream news media. This past week, Israel was under attack. There were rockets launched from the Hamas-ruled Gaza Strip, and those rockets landed in Israeli cities. There were children brought to the hospital treated for shock, and it's only by the grace of God that the rockets didn't hurt anyone because they landed in the middle of city centers. There were hospitals in southern Israel that were evacuating their patients from the regular rooms and bringing them to underground shelters. This was big here in Israel, Israel under attack, yet the mainstream media said nothing about it. What I've learned to expect, sadly, is that the media doesn't speak about when Israel is under attack. They only speak about when Israel responds to this terror. When Israel kills a terrorist or arrests somebody that's most wanted for different terror tests that they did in the past, suddenly that makes the media. When Israel is attacked with rockets, no one speaks about it. But when Israel responds, suddenly there's big debates on Israel has a right to respond and use this force. And so I want you to know that this past week, Israel was under attack. We absorbed rocket attacks and code red sirens, and the world remained silent. It's very important to realize what's going on here in Israel now, because what my father, Rabbi Eckstein, and everyone at the fellowship always says is, in Israel we live from war war till war. We have this time of quiet to prepare for the next war. The fellowship is now building new bomb shelters in Steyrot, the most southern city closest to the Gaza Strip. In the past, we've donated 5,500 shelters to the people of Israel, even more than that, and we're continuing that project. Now is the time that we have to stand together, Jews and Christians, to raise up our voice and say, even though the mainstream media is not reporting about these rocket attacks on Israel, they are happening and we stand against it. We are raising our voice in unity and taking action to make sure that the people of Israel are safe and the terrorists are revealed that the world knows the threats that Israel faces, the bombs that are falling on her people, and we have to stand together, Christians and Jews, to say, this is unacceptable. I pray for peace along with all the people of Israel. We seek peace, rodef shalom, we chase after peace, and I pray that very soon we will see the real, true, ultimate, and everlasting peace here in Jerusalem. God bless you.